Welcome to Spooktober! Where all season long we're doing Halloween themed videos. Go grab your candy and let's get started. How's it going everyone? Protopawn here and welcome back to Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Today we are going to hopefully traverse all the way through Mount Moon and you know possibly even fight the rival again but the goal is to at least take down Misty and get that second badge and hopefully catch some cool Pokemon on the way. Before we start, I was right. Um, we were able to get some of the uh, Unfusers or whatever the heck they're called. Uh, let's take a, a quick look at that real quick. Um, they are, yeah, DNA Reversers are, are what, they, what they're called in the game. Um, and I did do some reversing on some Pokemon, so we got our Bulbasaur back. Uh, and, you know, I've been thinking of what we should do with all of this, and I'm kind of liking the possible fusion between Weedle and Pichu to make, like, an electric poison type. I think that would be pretty sweet, um, if we can get that to work. So, before we continue our journey, uh, west, or no, east, we'd be he heading east, Let's do a quick fusion and see what that's like, guys. I think uh, we got to do something here with these two. So let's do the Weedle and this. Yes, yeah, so we definitely want more of an electric poison is definitely the way to go here. So let's do it. Let's see what this fusion would become. I think a, like a... Like a Beedrill with like a like a P Pikachu, Raichu-esque style coloring would be pretty sick. Let's see what this makes right now. You know, honestly, that doesn't look too bad. That's actually kind of cute, not gonna lie. I like that. That's not terrible. The Hairy Mouse Pokemon. Yeah. Alright, sweet. Um, let's see what we got here. We could go Modest, which blocks the added effects of attacks taken. We can get uh, Nature, which is special attack up and minus attack. Let me think about that. That's probably, actually, that's pretty good. Uh, speech frame one, I don't know what that means. Um, oh, I see. Oh, this is the... Yeah, 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 yeah. So we want... Either... We we want Static. We definitely want Impish. No, we want... Let's see, this is Defense Up. No, no, no. We want Modest. Uh, Yeah, I think that's, that's pretty good. Let's do a Combined Move Set. Uh, tail, let's see. So we got Poison Sting, String Shot, Thunder Shock, which is definitely what we want. And Charm. I don't think we want Tail Whip. So yes, give up on Tail Whip. All right. Let's take a look at it real quick. Let's look at its overall stats. So yeah, Special Attack is up to eight. Attack is down to seven. Speed is 11. This isn't looking too bad. This this isn't looking too bad at all. I'm liking this. All right, guys. Well, with that out of the way, we're going to definitely save our Bulbasaur up for something better. But this actually makes a lot of sense because, well, I mean, it's no longer technically a bug type, so we don't really have to worry about flying type so much. But the poison type with the electric type is going to be pretty cool to work with, so... That's what we got for now. Let's continue on east, guys. Let's see what we can do. Hey. Yes, Oak's assistant. Let's go. What do you got for us? Outbreak of wild Pokemon with hidden abilities on this route. That's sweet. Maybe we should see if we can catch some new uh, cool Pokemon, guys. Yeah, yeah, Mount Moon. Yeah, sure. 
All right, let's see what's in this grass. And it's nighttime, so maybe we can find some cool, like, nighttime edition Pokemon. Okay, Cleffa. We're not going to worry about the Cleffa. Um... Yeah, I guess we can we can keep him out as our lead. A Spearow at night. That's interesting. Not really looking for a Spearow. Let's see what we can get. Okay, that's interesting. It looks like a Spearow fused with a Meowth. That's interesting and ugh, I don't know. That's a little terrifying in a way. It's like the the cat ate the bird, and the bird decided to poke back out. All right, we got a second chance to catch Hoot Hoot, and I definitely want to get a Hoot Hoot, so let's do a low kick. All right, he's going to put us to sleep. That's perfectly fine. Let's go to the bag. Let's see if we can catch a Hoot Hoot. All right, let's go. I love Hoot Hoot. I know, you know, stat-wise, you know, people don't like it because, you know, even, like, Knocked Owl doesn't have the greatest of stats, but I love this evolutionary line. Honestly, this is kind of cool. I like that. Uh, no, we do not need to give a nickname to the Hoot Hoot. So, we have that... Let's go, I'm gonna go heal up real quick, guys, and then I'll see you back in just a moment. And we're back, guys. Let's continue our journey, see what we can get. Okay, so this is just dead end down here, that's fine. Um, it looks like we're gonna have to fight this person here. Let's quickly switch out. I definitely wanna, again, get our Pedal here, Pidal. Uh, some experience. Looks like it's going to be a double battle. All right, that's cool. It's, I think this is our first double battle. That's actually... All right, a Meowth and a Weedle. And... All right. Well, I think we got to go Thundershock on the flying thing. And... Oh, it could be bug typing still, like a normal bug, but it might just be bug poison. I don't think either of those actually is good either way. Let's try this. Whoa, that was a lot of damage. And, all right, well, I guess focus attacking is a good strategy. Let's try out our new Hoot Hoot. Let's get this thing some experience, I guess. We will put this to sleep and we will continue to... Oh, I, I hit the wrong one. That's all right, that's fine. We'll get some damage in. Ugh, the hypnosis hitting is good. Let's focus the... Meowth. All right. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's all right. Let's get the Naran out. We'll finish this battle off. Not a big deal. All right, and we're on to this trainer. Let's see if we can do better against him. It's like he's setting out just a plain Metapod. That's perfectly fine. We're going to hit them with a String Shot. Looks like we're faster regardless. It is level 10. But that's fine. It's a Metapod. It's going to use Harden. We got Thundershock to get around that, so not too worried. Maybe even a Poison Sting? All right, we got the Poison off. That's awesome. 
Yeah, you keep raising your defense. We don't care. Anyway, guys, if you are enjoying the series so far, why don't you go ahead and comment, like, this is awesome, and, you know, hit that like button, of course. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It, you know, I'm a, I'm a low... <laughs> I'm a low content creator, and every single one of your guys' subscriptions and likes means the world to me. Like, truly, like, I really do want to see this channel grow more than it has, of course. And I do enjoy creating content for you guys, so please, if you're liking the content, leave a like. All right, we got a poison bug here for sure. Um, it is definitely faster than us, so we're gonna Thunder Shock. And I think we're gonna need to switch out here. Let's go to Dude. Dude at least has Peck, I believe, still. It should. Poison point isn't going to work because it is poison piping itself. Yes, the pack is going to do super effective damage. That is great for us. All right. Uh, we are, of course, going to switch back out. This has already gained three levels. From this battle, so this has been good. <laughs> a Weedle and an Ekans this time. That's very interesting. Let's try to go with that Thunder Shock. It's gonna try to String Shot us again. That's fine. We're just gonna hit it with that Thunder Shock, and we're gonna go right back out to Dude. This is the strat for this battle for sure. All right, let's get it with the Peck. Gonna string shot us to lower our speed, and we are going to, of course, finish this off with another pack. All right, we are looking great, guys. Level 13, excellent. Wants to learn poison sting. Of course, we're gonna let this thing. Uh... I mean, it is stab. We should probably get rid of one of these fighting moves. We're going to get rid of the low kick. All right. And, of course, we got the evolution going on here because our Weedle is going to evolve. This is probably going to look pretty weird. <laughs> Honestly, that's not that... It's still not that terrible. <laughs> the Cocoon Mouse Pokemon. That's hilarious. <laughs> it remains virtually... Im mobile while it clings to a tree when it start wait yeah when it is startled it discharges power accidentally <laughs> it gets better at holding power as it grows older very interesting wants to move the learn to move harden um what does this do again harshly lowering attack um, over raising our defense. It really doesn't matter. It's harshly though. Yeah, no, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep the charm. All right, let's move on to this guy, guys. Holly Hoot, that's absolutely amazing. And. Absolutely going to get demolished by our Thunder Shock. <laughs> All right, <laughs> here we go. Level nine, let's get it. Almost level 10, wow, just like that. All right, let's go down here and grab this item, Pecha Berry, not bad. And we will, of course, have to battle this guy, but that's fine, because we're trying to get some experience here. Hmm. 
we just Thundershock it, I guess? I don't know. Maybe the goal is to just make it through this section and Mount Moon, and then maybe save Misty and continue forth with, I guess, the rival and Misty next episode, guys. I'm, like, looking at the time right now. And I do want to, like, farm this experience, so... Alright, we are level 10. Wants to learn Sweet Kiss? No, we're not gonna do that. Uh, yeah, let's let's switch out right now. Let's go to Hoot Hoot. Which would be very beneficial if we had a flying move. We're gonna hit it with the Hypnosis. Put it to sleep. Honestly, the... the <laughs> Cataros is actually a really good coloration for like a Paris or Paris like that, that looks really good in all honesty that looks really good Unfortunately, we do not have again like a, a flying type move for us right now, which is gonna make this a lot slower All right, it is faster than us, so we are going to have to switch out. Let's go to the Nidoran, because it is uh, still not double digits in level yet, so I think this is a good play here. Almost level 10, so this is actually really good. I keep hitting that on accident. Let's go with Scratch, because Double Kick is really not going to do much for us at all. All right, there we go. Level 10 Nidoran. Hoot Hoot getting that level 7 wants to learn peck. There it is. Um, we can get rid of Foresight. Alright, bug, ca bug Catcher James is down. And we're already evolving. Into the Beedrill. <laughs> oh, this is going to look interesting. I hope it gets better as, like, Pichu evolves into Beed... Oh, that's... That's interesting. <laughs> the head's kind of weird, but like the rest of it looks sick. The 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 stingers with the electricity is amazing. Um, as this grows, uh, hopefully it'll get better for sure with Pikachu, and then eventually we'll give it a Thunderstone to get Raichu. I definitely want to keep this uh, Pokemon around for a long time. So, uh, Twin Needle, absolutely got to get that Bug type. Um, well, we don't need to. It's not Stab or anything. I think we can get rid of Charm. I think I'd rather get rid of that and keep the String Shot because we want to... We want to possibly lower things' speed throughout the playthrough if we need to get something slower than us. So I'm going to go heal up, guys, and then we'll be right back. Uh, sure. We're going to buy this guy's magic carp, guys. I think that could be pretty sweet. Give a nickname to the magic carp? Uh, no, that's fine. Add it to my party. Yeah, sure. The hoot hoot. And let's do a little fusion, guys. I think I have an idea. To get a water poison... We definitely need a water type on our team. And having a Gyarados later on would be sick to make some fusions with. That is very cursed. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is... That is a little disturbing, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but it, it should get better, guys. It should get better. Alright, what do we got here, guys? Rivalry... Or Swift Swim. Uh, deals damage. No, we're definitely going to take that Swift Swim. Speed and negative defense. Or special defense and negative defense. I think we want that speed, guys. What about the haste? Haste and Swift Swim? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. Let's combine the some movesets here. Alright, guys. Let's see what we've got going on over here. 
group of thugs have been bullying Pokemon trainers in Mount Moon. The Pokemon Center is completely overrun. It's poor Geodude who is practically bad or was practically badly injured by an or particularly badly injured by an attack from the thugs. All right, it looks like Team Rocket is probably up to no good. That's my guess. And is Brock? Brock is coming all the way out, all the way out here to help. Maybe I don't know. I can't remember. I think he's just here to help with the the current Pokemon out here. We're gonna have to go in there and take on whatever's going on. All right, guys. I am going to traverse through Mount Moon and maybe find some new Pokemon or whatever. Uh, but I will bring you guys back in once we meet up with Team Rocket at the end of the tunnel. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. We are here at the end, and I just want to show you some changes here. Uh, with our P drill here, we found the move Venoshock in Mount Moon here, and I switched it out for the Poison Sting because I think it'll be way better uh, usage-wise. We have a really good setup with our uh, Nidoran lines with uh, setting up Poison Point and getting uh, our enemies pre-poisoned. That way we can switch into P-Drill and utilize that Vino Shock for massive damage. We are looking pretty good as a special attacker here with the exception of Twin Needle, but String Shot to lower our opponent's speed and then just blasting them with uh, damage is, is going to be pretty cool. And as you can see, we have a Zubat as well. Um, look, really looking forward to getting Crobat. Crobat is my favorite poison type of all time. If you haven't seen my poison type tier list, I'm going to leave a link here and probably somewhere at the top here have a, a pop-up for you guys to go check out that tier list. Um, but anyway, guys, we are here uh, with Team Rocket, and they are up to no good per the usual, uh, and they're doing some notorious things here. Um Looks like they got some sort of machinery here. I already know what's going on again. I've, I've seen playthroughs of this game. Uh, so to cut this short, guys, they are going to attempt to do a triple fusion with these Pokemon. So we got to go stop them, of course. So uh, there's Giovanni. He's overseeing the whole thing. And uh, we got to stop him from doing this triple fusion because double fusions are cool and all, but triple fusions are a little bit too much. So... Let's see what's going on. Looks like we got to fight this guy. So let's see how well we're going to do against him. He's got one Pokemon. All right. That is a Kofmer. A fusion between Coughing and Grimer. All right. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to Tail Whip him to lower his defense here. Assurance is unfortunately going to take us out, which is really unfortunate because we were just about to level up. After switching into something, uh, what should we switch into here? Um, could go into Zubat, go for Super Sonic, I guess, might be helpful. Let's do it. There we go. Landing it with that first hit. And, whoa, we just barely survived that. All right, we need to switch out right now. Let's go into Bulbasaur. And set up that leech seed and I think we should be doing pretty good from there all right looking good get that HP back now we can go into tackle after we growl him real quick because we need to still lower his defense Ooh, that was a good hit on his part not gonna lie uh, but we're looking pretty good with that Leech Seed, giving us some health back. This is a close one. Um, no, we gotta switch out, guys. Let's go into Rat Ran, I think. Here is the play, because we can outspeed him like crazy. Rat Ran is definitely one of our best Pokemon here. If not our best Pokemon. This guy is just good all around with attacking and setup he's just so fast he's such a fast pokemon all right level 11 for a zubat and it learned fight awesome all right that is gonna be it for team rocket here they're gonna attempt this fusion and it is going to fail 
All right, well, it is what it is. Uh, overheated. Okay, they are gonna work out all this at headquarters. Uh, they've got apparently all the moonstones from this area. That's not cool, man. We need some moonstones. And, and they just dip out of here. Okay, well, whatever. Um, fossils. Yeah, yeah, this guy was looking for these fossils when they basically ambushed this poor guy. All right, well, let's go pick a fossil, guys. And I already know which one I'm picking. Uh, again, if you haven't seen my rock-type tier list for Pokemon, uh, I will also leave a link here for you guys to go check that out. But, uh... My favorite fossil of all time is definitely uh, Kabutops, so we are going to go and pick up this, uh, this fossil here after we get out of this battle. I'm s it look, these engravings on the fossils look really good. That way you can actually tell what they are just by looking at them. That's pretty cool. Let's get this dome fossil and we'll get the heck out of here. He's of course going to come pick up the helix fossil. So that's pretty cool. What is this madness? All right, guys, I will. I will see you guys when we uh, exit this cat, uh, this uh, mountain. Okay, I'll see you guys. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. We did quite a bit today, and uh, this is probably gonna be quite a long episode. Uh, I'm trying to keep these episodes around like a half hour so we're gonna leave it here next time we are definitely gonna go and take on misty and take on our rival again get that second badge and maybe even progress more towards uh lieutenant surge afterward but we'll see anyway guys uh again here's the team that we've got going on right now we got the zubat again really looking forward to getting a crowbat because crowbat is my favorite poison type of all time uh and i really can't wait to maybe test out some fusions with this so I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. Guys, if you like the video, you like the episode, you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, you know, it would mean the world to me if you did. I'm a very small content creator and uh, every single subscription just means the world to me. Uh, you guys are awesome for doing it. Uh, for everybody that's been here for a while, thank you. Thank you for coming back again and again. Uh, Again, thanks for checking out this content, guys, and I am looking forward to creating more. So uh, I've taken up enough of your time for today, guys. So until next time, stay safe out there. Take care. I'm Protopawn. Peace.